Getting a free knife in CS2 is surprisingly not that hard as case prices are ridiculously expensive so weekly drops are on your side. There's currently 5 active drops in CS2, The Revolution Case, Recoil, Dreams and Nightmares, Snakebite, and Fracture. At their current prices, you're getting an average of $0.92 cents with the case drop alone once a week, so it's a great way to get started, but there's even better ways to capitalize off it. Once you get a bit of capital built up, trade-ups are going to be the next big step in the right direction, and don't worry because there's very little risk. But you'll note that whenever a YouTuber, or for example Trade-Up Spy, a website that posts profitable trade-ups every week, posts, Prices spike up massively in the skins that they post about, making the trade-ups unprofitable. Like sawed off snake camels for example, after their recent post, they jumped up almost 100% in price after word got out about the trade-up. So what's a way around this? Well, you could either go on trade-up side and mess around with inputs yourself and try and find your own trade-ups that are profitable, looking for a big gap in price between minimal wear and factory new prices of skins for the same skin is a good tip, and I'd say that's a good way to get started, but if you can't find anything, looking up profitable trade-ups on YouTube is still an option. I'd say to look for stuff that isn't a few days old or brand new though, because if you find like month old videos, for example, this one from Elsu, where he uses Galove Very camos, they spiked up in price right when he made the video and throughout the first few days after, but have slowly been dying back down to the price they were actually at before the video dropped, and the video is over a month old, so you can copy trade up contracts like that, or slightly change them to be profitable. Once again, make sure they're not brand new though where everybody's buying the skins and pushing the price up. The only thing you're looking for is over 100% profitability after scene tax, so you could just keep repeating them for infinite profit. Now if you want even less risk than that and you've built up a bit of capital flipping skins, Flipping cases is a great way to make money. CSGO Empire sponsored this video and on their site you can find cases for much cheaper than buff. For example, these CS20 cases are 68 coins on Empire but 1 coin equals $0.614 so these cases are actually way under buff price. 68 coins is actually 41 cents so you can easily scoop that up and sell it on buff for a 25 cent profit. Empire is a great way to find really good deals on items since people are selling them to cash out since they have a 0% buying and 0% selling fees, so people can't afford to sell for a bit cheaper than buff. So whether you've just got a few bucks or if you've got a couple hundred dollars saved up and are able to flip items that are worth a couple hundred is a great way to profit as well. And even if you just got a few cheap items in your inventory and want to sell them on there, get some coins and then use those coins to flip cases is a great place to start as well. And relatively low risk. The only reason it is a bit risky in this market right now is because when it comes to cases, you kind of have to be careful because some of them are decreasing in price pretty rapidly off the market crash right now, which makes things kind of hard. But CS20 cases, for example, which I see listed on there often, are holding up really well, and they're actually increasing in price, but even if they decrease like 10% over the week, if you bought them at the price I showed you guys at, you'd be completely fine and would still be making money. Now, normally I would say investing is a good way to get closer to a free knife with cases, but right now, once again, in this market, it just isn't worth the risk. Things can be going down for a lot longer, so quick flips are going to benefit you a lot more than holding on to stuff for a long time. The best thing I'd say to do is save up everything you've got in hopes that we get an operation coming in the next few months, because then you'll be able to get the battle pass for 15 bucks and just easily farm cases through the operation missions. And that's definitely going to be the quickest way to get a free knife easily. And I'm very confident that we will get that update once everything is sorted out in CS2 and all the basic bugs are fixed. There was a big like 3 gigabyte update today, so Valve is slowly but surely coming along with that and those operation missions that you'll be able to grind out, use your stars to buy cases are without a doubt the best way you've been able to make money in CSGO slash CS2 ever. So hopefully we get that back in a couple months with the first CS2 operation but until then flipping skins, grinding weekly drops and trade ups are your best option. But as always be sure to check out CSU Empire and get those 0% buying and selling fees, take advantage of the cheapest prices around and work towards getting a free knife today, link at the top of the description.